We found out Soraya had hip dysplasia when she was five months. She'd had routine hip checks that showed that everything was okay. And then at the checkup at five months, they decided that the right hip was still not developing quite right. So they decided that she would need um, to be put in the hip spiker cast for um, up to eight weeks. idea of what hip dysplasia was or what it would mean for our lives really. Um, so as soon as kind of that diagnosis was made, we kind of went home and, and kind of looked it up and, and saw what it was all about. So we came away feeling really shocked and I guess we went through all the stages so we felt kind of in shock to start with, then really upset. Um, then denial and trying to find any other solution. We got second opinions. Um, even though we knew that the treatment was going to be the best thing, we just couldn't get our heads around it. And um, aside from steps, there was obviously limited information out there about it. We also felt that there wasn't a huge amount of emotional support, so we could find out what the treatment would involve and the doctors were able to offer us a lot of guidance with that. But in terms of emotional support as to what we were feeling, um, that was quite difficult and the STEPS helpline was really useful in talking that through and then being put in touch with a family that had been through it recently just so we could understand the process in more detail and what we were to expect and it was just great to hear somebody else say how they felt when they went through it and that actually um, it was all going to be okay. So the day that Saray went into hospital to have uh, the closed reduction and to get the spiker cast put on it's obviously very nerve-wracking I think in my head it was one of the things I was most nervous about the thought of her having general anaesthetic um, and just not really knowing what the cast was going to look like when she came out she was seven months in the end when she got the cast fitted so she had started to become a bit more mobile although she wasn't crawling yet and the day in hospital itself was all very straightforward. Um, she was one of the first to go down because she was the youngest and she wasn't away for that long. It was probably about an hour in total, but obviously felt like a lot longer. And when she came back, it was strange to see her legs in the cast. I can't deny that, but we soon found ways, even just within being in hospital, of moving her around in the cast, feeding her a bottle and comforting her. And by lunchtime, we were able to go home and start the next leg of the journey. Life in the cast was difficult at first to get used to. We, no matter how much we were prepared for what she would need in terms of toys and sleep and prams, until you're actually in it and you know what position the legs are going to be in, it's quite hard to prepare yourself for that. So it took us a couple of days to kind of find our stride, get her in a comfortable position at night time. Um, we tried different ways of feeding her, different ways of giving her that bath experience. So obviously she couldn't go in the bath, but we still wanted to have a, her to have a bit of a sensory bath experience and to still go to her baby classes and do everything that we were doing before. And so I would say after the first week, we definitely were back in our rhythm again. Um, you gain more and more confidence Practical steps that we took um, was to make the cast a little bit more easy wear um, for Soraya. We bought some moleskin um, tape that could literally just kind of tape inside the cast and outside so it's nice and soft around her tummy. Um, then also kind of keeping the cast clean for um, dinner time. We bought like a long apron to cover the whole thing which was, which was really handy. Soraya is now three and a half and she is very active you just have no idea that she even had the treatment it hasn't hindered her in any way um, I still get so excited when I take her swimming and things like that things that we took for granted before the cast was put on things that I knew I was gonna miss while she was in the cast but now just you know everything that we do with her that means that she can physically move around happily and without any pain or anything that could have happened if we hadn't have gone through the treatment I just feel very grateful for